Turnaround Doctor, Dr. Donna, and I'm here today to give you a couple turnaround tips. So tip number one, don't ask for advice and then not use it, okay? If you ask me a question and I give you an answer, I know the answer works, and then you don't use it, and then you come back to me later saying, well, Dr. Donna, how can I do this such and such? I'm going to tell you, I told you how to do that three weeks ago. Why are you asking me again? If you want advice, ask for advice. If you want a shoulder to cry on, I'm not that person because I don't attend any pity parties at all. If you want something to give you a boost to motivate you, I'm willing to do that too. But what I am not willing to do on any occasion at all is to take my time, my energy, my effort, getting dressed, coming to see you, potentially talking on the phone to you, and I tell you to do something and you don't do it, and then you come back to me with the same problem. I put this on Snapchat the other day, and I said, the first thing that you gotta do, the first thing that you can do before, turn, before you turn around is to turn around. If you're going in the wrong direction, you gotta stop. Just stop and turn around. Now you gotta be willing to listen. I have often talked to people, and this one gets me, I'll tell them to do something. Well, you know, I was talking to my cousin, and they said, your cousin? Does your cousin have a doctorate? Did your cousin go to school for 23 years? Did your cousin stop been doing turnarounds for 30 years? If your cousin hasn't been doing all of that, quit talking to your cousin. Or you can keep talking to your cousin, and you can quit talking to me. But we can't do both, okay? Pick one, and that's it. You're a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. It just, it's just something that just really bothers me. Or how about this? You do half of it. So if I tell you to do something that's really, really hard, like get up every day at the same time and go to bed at the same time, and so Monday through Friday, you get up at the same time and you go to bed at the same time, and then you want to sleep in on Saturday, then you say, well, you know, I'm going to go to the late service for church on Sunday for those of you who attend services. And then you want to know why Monday morning you got the Monday morning blues. If I tell you to get up at the same time and go to bed at the same time, I'm telling you for a reason. Your body is going to regulate itself and then your brain is going to say, hey, this is cool. I like this. I know what to do. But if you're up till 11 o'clock one night and then you're going to bed at 8.30 the next night, then you go out on the weekend and then you sleep in until 12, you are all discombobulated. And it's not going to work. So what's the moral of the story? The more, and look at this hair, man. I tell you. Look at me trying to be cute for y'all and it's not working out. This is, okay. Anyway, the moral of the story is this. If you wake up at the same time and go to bed at the same time, it gives you the strength and the mental capacity to keep going. Okay? If you ask for my advice, you need to apply my advice. All of it. And if you want to listen to your family and friends, then you can keep saying on Facebook, unsubscribe from my YouTube channel, and I hope that works out for you. For the rest of you turners that are turning around and burning all that stuff behind you, I say let's keep going because we are all in to win. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.